you've outlined a number of the challenges facing um, uh, FE colleges and you, you identify leadership and management, but my experience of discussion and talking with FE principals is that they seem under incredible stress uh, to do with budgeting, to do with um, decision making about possible redundancies um, to the workforce, uh, to providing a quality education, um, possibility of cutting subjects uh, from the curriculum, um, all of these things, and yet you identify it is poor quality leadership and management, could not actually, if you look at the rationale behind that, is just the stress that principals are under, which is linked to, as Amanda Spielman told our committee last year, colleges have the biggest funding challenge. Um, so when they're working under this stress about decision making, about, as I say, possible redundancies, um, you know, how... How would you answer this? Would you well, say that that's so the biggest challenge is poor yeah. leadership and management, or is it the impact of funding cuts? I would say if two-thirds of colleges weren't doing well, I would say that it was more to do simply with the funding cuts or the stress. If you met, again, the, the national leaders of further education, some of the outstanding and very good principals, they are running good colleges. It is a very tough job. Uh, there are, unfortunately, I'm sure, principals who suffer from stress, and we need to provide support. We also haven't had, as I was going to say earlier to, 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 to James Frith, any form of uh, planned leadership development in the sector until very, re very recently. We've now, for the first time for a decade, got the first principals, aspiring principals and finance directors programmes off the ground um, uh, through ETF, and I speak at those, and I am very supportive of them. This is a tough job. This is the uh, toughest part of the education sector to lead in. Um, but I don't think all principals are suffering from stress and I don't think they're all doing a poor job. And in fact, I think the majority, over half, are doing a very good job. I did it for 21 years until 12 no, months I, ago. I, if I could just come in there, I'm not saying that all principals are suffering from stress. I'm saying that their concentration is on uh, the decision-making about... Am I going to make so many staff redundant in the near future? Well, Am I going to be cutting subjects? I'm not saying they're not coping with yeah. those stressful situations. I'm saying they're put in that situation, which is taking their eye, in my opinion, off the ball in terms of quality education and discussion about well, the curriculum, quality of teaching and learning, all the things that are the ways in which we can, we can educate young people and, I, and direct them onto future successful careers. I've obviously spent my career arguing for more funding for FE and you know I, I was president of the Association of Colleges and lobbied hard and I don't change my view. We, you, FE is the funding that comes into FE is both complex and sparse and it could be improved. But And would you say unfair? Uh, would I say it's unfair? Yes, I would say it's unfair. I would say it was unfair. I would say it was unfair. So if you are if you ask me about the distribution in the UK between the funding that is given to further education and higher education, I would say that was unfair. And, and I say that as principal of a college that's offered both FE and HE and as a university governor. 